the first thing I think I would say about the astrobiological component is that everything we know about life in the universe comes from life on Earth. And so that, in a sense, uh, putting current diversity at peril for those who would like to understand biology as a planetary um, phenomenon is a little bit like burning a library. So that um, it will be hard for us to understand fully the, the history and properties of, of life on Earth on an impoverished planet. Um, and as I say, you know, until and unless we find evidence of life anywhere else, that's a, a serious, serious issue. The, the second is that it at least I think should condition us as we think about extending human purview beyond this planet to think about what, what effects we might have on other planets in the, in the solar system. Um, there may well come a day when humans colonize Mars. Um, how should we think about our stewardship for Mars? Um, I'm not sure I know the answer to that, but I, I think the answer in some way has to be bound up with our sense of respectability at handling, handling our own planet. So I think those two things are, are very direct um, interfaces between astrobiology and, and the biology of this planet. And I, I think certainly one of, one of the, the, the keystones of astrobiology is asking the question of what is our future as a, as a species which I think in, in the language of NASA generally is interpreted in terms of some sort of planetary manifest destiny. But I, I think much of, many of the questions of our future as a species are, are really going to be answered right here and not on Mars.